tell you how excited I am. I'm so excited! Hello everyone and Happy New Year! Oh my gosh, it's 2021. This is my very first video of this year past my Christmas one. So, but it's the first video of ultrasound hello as i'm as you see i'm festive i'm getting ready for valentine's day i'm in my red yes hold on let me turn down my cooking i am cooking some spinach okay look i totally made this up mind you but like a creamy spinach sauce homemade by the way and also i'm doing like a bacon chicken thing in the oven so we'll see how it turns out it's like a parmesan chicken bacon thing but if you haven't cooked your bacon in an air fryer you're missing out so in today's video oh my gosh congratulations and you are from your breaks and you're back in school now you're about to start on monday you probably already started last monday but to my new Bees, I'll call them newbies, put it that way. New sonographers, up and coming sonographers, you're going into this and 2021 is going to be big for you. I am so excited for you guys. I can't even tell you how excited I am. I'm so excited! So, I wanted to come on here and just give you guys some pointers and some like kind of heads up, get ready, get motivated, let's do this type of motivation. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's new to you. This is going to be difficult. It's something new, you're gonna learn it, it's fresh. You're gonna feel overwhelmed. But it's important for you guys to stay on track. Get an organizer. I express this in my video where I talk all things you need for school. Get a recorder. Get your phone, access to your phone. Get a, like a smartwatch. Something where it can't distract you in school. You don't have to pull out your phone. Pull out your phone to record if you need to, but don't pull out your phone to be on it. Um, you're an adult, so they're gonna teach you like that. So when you're in school, they don't care if you have your phone out. They're not gonna stress off of that. Now, but be self-disciplined enough to know. I'm not gonna have my phone out. I'll have a smartwatch. If I see that a text come over and it's an emergency, only tell your family to text you if it's an emergency, your friends. If they're in your corner, they'll be with this. The other thing is, is that taking notes is important. You're gonna have lectures. Get a nice book. Get a nice notebook. Get a nice binder. Be organized. Also, when the teacher is talking, just listen the teacher it's okay to interrupt him while he's talking is this gonna be on the test is this gonna be something I'm gonna need to know for my career is this something that's gonna just be like learn today forget tomorrow ask those things be be open to discussing and asking your neighbor and asking people in your class don't be afraid get like okay number two get someone to cling on to a mentor I have a mentorship to th this year, $300. Last year, it was $150 for three months. But I have worked and I have really dove into this and I'm giving myself to people who sign up. I'm available 24 seven. I ask them to keep, you know, 10 o'clock on for my family time. But even if you need me in the middle of the night, you're having a crisis, text me, call me. You get my personal phone number. So. I'm telling you, like you have access to me. Video calls, we chat, we study together, we learn together. So this year I am moving my mentorship program up to $300 for three months. That's $100 a month. I know you're a student, you might be on a budget, but I'm also offering 21% for January off of the 300. So. It would behoove you to get a mentor, get a friend that's in the program, get uh, you know, your teacher, a counselor, someone that when you're low and you don't feel like you could do this, someone that could keep you encouraged, someone that could study with you, someone that can really invest in what you're doing with your life. 
this is huge this is important this is I am so I I'm I was there I've, I've been a newbie before and so I know the overwhelm feeling that you are feeling right now but I'm telling you don't stress Take it one day at a time. It's a marathon. It's not a race. And I'm just here to be your biggest motivator. Make sure you're following me on my Instagram. And I will put my handle. I'll put all my information down in the, in the description box. Please follow me. DM me. I answer very quickly. And ask anybody. I, I don't play around. I hate when I text somebody or email somebody or send out a message to someone and they don't respond or it's like okay I know you this is 2021 everybody has a cell phone like er, it's accessible why aren't you responding back to me so I don't like to do have that done to me so I don't like to do that to people who are investing into their career and wanting to know information about this so definitely I respond back. now let's talk routine you have to have a routine. If you want to stick to something, you have to have a routine, period, dot. Like, I talked about organization, I talked about getting a mentor, I talked about all those things. The next thing is staying on a routine. Wake up early, study early, I don't know. My routine when I was in school, it was, I had to work Monday through Friday in the morning from eight to, I had to be work at eight and I was off at five. I had to be work by 5.30 and I didn't get off to school till 11. So why would I want to go home and study at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night? So what I did was wake up at six in the morning and I studied for like an hour and a half, to almost two hours, almost two hours, because I lived like 20 minutes away. So um, about an hour and a half in the morning and I gave that time to myself. I would get up, I would have my devotion, I would just focus at bright and early, my brain is ready, I got some food in me early in the morning, coffee, what have you, I chose tea, and I, I dove in, because I knew if I started my day that way, and I ended my day with school, it would be fresh in my mind at all times. Even when I'm at work, I the 30 minutes before I had for lunch, I would be reading whatever my, my teacher did the day before. So, a routine is very important. Also, when you have a routine, you kind of know what's going on next in your life. So you know like if the kids have to be somewhere, you know if the husband is having to work or you know maybe you're a single mother, I, my heart goes out to you but you could do this. Um, or a single father, you could do this. Um, I know that right now you may not know how all this figures out but take time. Take time, write it down, write the plan out and it will all fall in place. Study when you have downtime. Downtime is your friend. When I say downtime, it may be 20 minutes in the car and this is where the recorder comes in. Play it. Instead of listening to, you know, music or the radio, play what the, your recording of the lecture. That's downtime in the car. There's traffic, there's things that you, you know, going to Target, Target runs, Walmart runs. So, definitely get a recorder, I'm telling you guys, that would be like, a key for you um, because you can replay it you can have your headphones in you could you know go to sleep listening to listening to it um, don't overwhelm yourself don't overdo it but these are just little key points where you could just plug in studying throughout the day definitely this is listen listen definitely plan out your meals your lunches easy breakfast in the morning you know you could actually make like egg muffins that Starbucks sells and they're just as good if not better because they're homemade and you actually know what goes in them so your breakfast could be planned out freezer meals make make dishes that you know you can make um, I like lasagna and enchiladas you could freeze those you could make a big batch of them you could cut them in half like this is really important for you guys to get Pinterest, get Pinterest, 30 minute meals, crock, crock pot meals will become your friend because that time that you have to spend in, time in the kitchen could be time that you could just, one, breathe, two, study, and just kind of 
have things prioritized. Make sure that, you know, the routine falls into prioritizing what you have to do. Okay, in the morning the kids have to go to school. Right now we're virtual learning, so that should not be too hard for people. However, there is some schools that are open, but you might have to get the kids up. You might have to, you know, do something, a doctor's appointment, what have you. Just know that whatever you have to plan out is written down, you have that organizer, you know what's going on, you know ask your teacher for a syllabus. If they don't have a syllabus, ask them, when are tests? When are quizzes? When, is there pop quizzes? Is there pop qu uh, test? These are things that you should be, you know, zoning in on with your teacher so you know what to write in your planner. When is my text due? When is, um, if I have to write a paper, when is my paper due? If I have to do a PowerPoint, when is that due? So you can know like your schedule and you have it all mapped out and you're not feeling overwhelmed. That's a great point, I'm telling you. Make sure that you are prioritizing your life and everything falls in place. If you have to work, ask your job. Hey, you know what, can I have Fridays off? Or can I work only half days on Fridays? So you can have that me time as well. Don't forget about yourself. Take care of yourself. Vitamins, eat right, um, go on a walk, listen to the recording. Things like that will truly help you through this journey. Also, going with prior prioritizing your life, family. Family could be your biggest motivator, but also could be your biggest holdback, drawback. Oh, it's little Tim's birthday. You could come, you could spend time with him, you could come over here. No, learn how to say no. Put yourself first in 2021. I'm telling you, first comes first. Everyone else will come second. I don't care, this is important. You're on a mission and you don't want nothing to interfere with that. Um, and, but this work, this, this is where prioritizing c comes in and knowing what's due, when it's due, organization, things like that. You need a study time. Make sure you have a, you know, that routine. So in the morning, I'm going to wake up and study for an hour, um, or 25 minutes in the morning. Then I'm going to take a break. I'm going to eat breakfast. And then before I go to work, start work at eight, before I start there, I'm going to take another 25 minutes and study again. After work, I might go on a walk just to clear my head. Go on a walk for 25, 30 minutes. Come back, take a shower. Your dinner should already be run done because you already eat meal plan. It's already in the crock pot. You already did a freezer meal, so you shouldn't have to worry about dinner. Um, lunch, keep it light, keep it simple. You know, uh, make homemade, I do this, make homemade Lunchables. You could go out and get really nice meat, really nice pastrami, some cheese, some crackers, and a tall thing of water. I'm all about water this year, just FYI. But these are things that's gonna feed your body, keep you strong as well, and mentally clear. What about meditation? Meditate. Before you go to bed, take 15, 20 minutes. Just lay in bed and just listen to some sound music, just to relax, to depress yourself. It will really help you in the long run. You won't feel stressed out, you won't feel overwhelmed. You, you will be so zoned in and on a mission. And you know what, what is a year devoted to yourself? It's gonna fly by just like that. And before you know it, you'll be on your externship and you'll be, ah! Oh, almost halfway there, right? So, new journey, new everything in 2021. I wanna let you guys know, so you know, those are the points that I have to say in this video for my, you know, inspiring sonographers and up and coming, you know, techs. Any career that you're diving into, it's amazing. And I wish you guys all the best in 2021. And I'm here for you. DM me, message me, comments, everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and it helps me out and it helps me grow so I can help more people that wanna be helped because that's what I'm here for. So just know that this hard work, there is a light, there's a rainbow at the end of the tunnel. Believe me, I've been in your shoes. I can't, I'm speaking from experience, 20 years of experience. And I can only tell you what got me through. And I wanna help you get there as well. So, 
If you like this video, I'm sure you'll like this one or this one and hit that subscribe button right here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey, so, serious talk here. I have a Patreon account and if you guys want to support me over there as well, it will be greatly appreciated. I thank you guys so much for supporting me here on my YouTube channel. I tremendously love you guys. I so appreciate it so much. And if you wanted to go over there, I do do videos over there for my patrons and uh, just give them like special tidbits here and there over there. So, you know, help a sister out. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.